When performing the jump rope, you turn your hands outward as you start to swing the rope around you. And as it gets towards the bottom, you jump your feet just enough off the floor so that the rope can pass. You don't want to jump too high because that's going to cause too much impact on the legs and knees. So in this position, you want to make sure that you're jumping just high enough for the rope to just get right underneath it. Notice that I'm on the balls of my feet and my knees are slightly bent to be able to absorb the impact of the landing as well as spring back up. Notice the position of the arms outward and the palms up and notice the circular motion. Only everything from the elbow to the wrist is moving, not the whole arm. The power is being generated by the flick of the wrist as opposed to the circular motion of the entire arm. Overall, jump rope is really good for your core, your arms, your shoulders, your back, calves, thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Pretty much just about everything. Now, there are some common mistakes. Here's one of them. Jumping too high. This can seriously damage your ankles and your knees because of the high impact. You do not need to jump this high in order to clear the rope. Which leads me to my next mistake, using too much arm. You don't need to swing the whole arm. That is too much stress on the shoulder. You only really need to rotate from the elbow to the wrist. The wrist is what's generating a lot of the force here. And this one I call the playground. This is what we were doing back in the day when we were kids. It's not acceptable now when we're adults. You want to make sure that you're jumping with both feet at the same time off of the floor. This is usually a coordination issue, so we really need to work on the basics of coordinating the hands and the feet. If you're unable to jump or you just don't quite have the coordination yet, you can modify by swinging the rope from side to side with both arms. Then from here you can start to progress by picking up one leg at a time. So whichever side you're swinging on, that's the leg you pick up. This is a great way to start helping you with your hand and leg coordination. Another variation here is that you can bring both feet side to side, kind of like you're doing the shuffle. So this is a great way to really start working with your coordination. Once you really get the hang of the jump rope, then you can start to do these variations. Thanks for watching and remember, you max your life.